the U.S. economy has been very resilient in recent months in the face of shocks. And we highlighted that right at the beginning um, of our statement, where we said that economic activity has been expanding at a moderate pace despite the global economic and financial developments of recent months. And that that is important, that the U.S. economy continues to do well. Um, second, I would say that while global developments do pose some downside risks, the risks are not all one-sided. Um, a number of countries, including China, the euro area, the Bank of Japan, have taken measures to stimulate the economy. So there is also upside risk to the economic outlook. And in addition, oil prices have rebounded from their lows, and that eases concerns about the financial condition of some energy firms and the stresses facing some oil-producing economies. And at the same time, low oil prices continue to boost household purchasing power. So there are risks. We are attentive to them. We have not described them as unbalanced to the, out, to the downside, and they are two-sided. One can identify both upside and downside risks here.